I don't understand it. How is this possible? How is anything possible? Oh, Sarah and Beth say hi. Have you seen them? Yeah, in a dream. Sarah mostly. She's passed on parts of her memories to me. You have Sarah's memories? Parts of them. You dated her two years ago today and met her two years before that. Hello? Hi, uh, Sarah. It's Brittany. Hey, what's up? I, I just wanted to ask you something really quick. It it's about your, your boyfriend's roommate. Chris? What about him? Yeah, Chris. D do you know if he's seeing anybody right now? I don't think so. Do you, did you hear anything? Do you know if Vanessa might have talked to him? Uh, she told me that she was going to, but then I, I haven't heard from her yet. Mm, she may have been hitting on him at Devin Long's party last weekend, but I don't know. Yeah, are you interested in him? I mean, I could see if I could set something up. No. No, that's, that's all right. Have a good Valentine's Day. Somebody should. Bye. You weren't in love. How do you know that? I felt it. She liked you. You two were good friends, but she was in love with somebody else. Yeah. His name was Max. That's not all that I saw. Four years ago, this girl was asking about you. Brittany? Do you know who that is? Yeah. We dated. We just broke up, actually. But she, she liked me all the way back then? Yeah. Stronger, I think, than you and Sarah ever felt about each other. No. I'm not listening to this. Well, Ghost said I need your help. So what? Don't listen to him. I don't think they'll take no for an answer. Alright, ghosts can only appear to you if you let them. I figured that out, now they leave me alone. You should too. It's for your own good, trust me. A triple date, huh? Sounds like... Mmm, what's the opposite of fun? I'm just happy to have somebody in my life besides these articles. Yeah, how's that going? Your investigation. No new breakthroughs lately. And Melanie still refuses to believe Blake attacked her, even though everything else seems to point to him. God, I could have sworn I had more information than this. Yeah, you do sound like you need a night off. Okay, well, go have fun with Brett. And do you have fun with Ben? Oh, and let me know if you need any more help with the investigation. I'd be glad to do something. Will do. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Uh, nothing important. Hey, Brittany's not going to be here tonight, is she? I don't think so. <laughs> she hasn't been here all day, and it's Valentine's Day, so there is only one place she could be going. I'm, I'm really glad that you decided to come with me. Um, I really need to win Chris back. Strangely, I think that you are my best bet. Glad I can help. So, you're used to seeing crazy things, right? What happened? Nothing. Just the two-year anniversary of the worst night of my life. Sarah's death? Yep. But don't worry, because there's an identical stranger living right next door. What? Her name is Laura Adams, and she's the spitting image of Sarah. And of all days, I meet her today. What the hell's going on? You think I know the answer? I never know what's going on. But I do. Who is she? Just a normal girl that should have nothing to do with this. Well, she seems to have Sarah's memories. And she needs to be stopped. Hey! What's up? Oh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. All right, look. Laura, I do not have time for all of this self-pity stuff, okay? I know it's Valentine's Day and I know you don't have anyone and all, but you cannot bring other people down. Okay? Don't worry, you're not alone. And who the hell are you? You don't have a memory of me yet? Don't worry, it will come. You knew Sarah? Yeah. And I'm sorry she dragged you into all of this. It's just, it's been two years since her murder. Who are you? Max. Hey. Hey. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. 
Are you doing anything special with Melanie tomorrow? Are you doing anything special with Blake? Max, it's been almost a year. We need to be able to- To what? To, to forget about that you dumped me for no reason and then jumped in bed with my ex-best friend? Max, I'm sorry. It's- Sarah, I loved you. I thought you loved me too, but you couldn't have and hurt me like that. So just stop all this small talk, because we're not friends, and we're never going to be. You know, I feel like once I find out what happened to you, I can, I can just start over again. So what is going on? She's getting in the way. First Jenny and now her. Why can't the dead stay dead? So, Ghost Sarah gave this girl her memories. Is that possible? I don't think anything is impossible anymore. I mean, the dead are giving people memories. Angels and demons show up for tea. If there's some sort of Valentine's Day zombie party, I am there. No, you don't get this. The only reason why I'm here is because everything is spinning out of control. And I will fix it and leave if you two help me. And the whole ghost memory thing should not be possible. Sarah's cheating. What's she gonna do? Show this Laura girl who killed her. She can do that? She shouldn't be able to, but she found a way. And she has to be stopped. We cannot let her have that memory. Why? I thought I was supposed to find out who the killer is. When the time is right! Everything needs to happen in a sequence. And if it doesn't, everything will go to hell. These spirits are being selfish. <laughs> and you're not? You broke up Brittany and I. And you have everyone thinking that I'm dead. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, do either of you have otherworldly knowledge? Or the ability to change destiny? Didn't think so. Now Chris, you go find Sarah 2.0 and make sure she doesn't screw anything up. No. The real Sarah went on a date with me two years ago and pretended I was Max. The real Sarah didn't love me. I'm not gonna get involved with the fake one. I'm out. I'll do it. Ben's on his way. <laughs> it's our first real date. So we just called the restaurant and the reservations are still good for nine. I'm surprised you set this all up. Why? Well, you seemed a little upset with me ever since. You had a near-death experience and asked for your ex-boyfriend. Yeah, but that was only because I was talking to Blake the night before. No, I know, and it's totally okay. You know, today, today's about us, not about Blake or about anyone else. Who could that be? Another couple? No, maybe it's Ben. Uh. Hi guys! I heard you're having a party. I just wanted to come and make sure everything goes according to plan. Um, why do you still have this place? I thought you were living back in town with Ashley. Uh, well, I'm not ready to give up Chris yet. And. I don't think Chris is ready to give up me either. I just, I just need to find something to wear. Oh, how romantic. You can show more cleavage. Chris is a good guy and you know it. Chris practically wants me dead. Then why did you want to come here with me in the first place? I don't know. Have you ever been in love? <laughs> I dated. Sarah and Melanie. Have you ever been in love? I... I thought I was at the time, but I wasn't. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Love is the last thing on my mind right now. You're lying. She's here. What? I think that you fell in love with a girl who is here, and that's why you wanted to come with me in the first place. Who is she? I'm not even sure if she's real. Hey. This is not how I wanted my Valentine's to go. Well, unless you end up dead, um, I think I have you beat. I met Chris. He didn't help anything. He told me to ignore you. Chris that I knew isn't the one that you saw today. This whole mess has changed him. Well, what do you want me to do? Going up. Jenny, what are you- What, Max is the only one who's allowed to talk to people? I've been dead longer. Max was murdered. And you loved him. Okay, I do not need a ghost lecturing me about this, especially not another ghost. You're only with Chris because he reminds you of Max. 
You couldn't be with Max because you knew the truth about what happened to his parents, and you didn't want to lie to him, but you couldn't tell him the truth. It's tragic, really. I don't need to be hearing this. Yes, you do. You don't want Chris. All he is is a new Max to you, and that's not fair to him. He needs to be free from this mess, and he can't do that if you're around. Well, then what am I supposed to do? I wish I could help you, but I'm not allowed. I'm sorry. Those are the rules. I need you to find out who killed me. Why don't you just tell me or, or somebody else who did it? It's against the rules. Technically, I'm not even supposed to be doing this, but two years has been long enough. Is what he said true? If I don't want to see you anymore, you'll go away? Yeah. It is. Will the memories be gone too? I don't know. It, it's possible. But Laura, I do need your help. Too bad.